days, you know. But oh, it was so fun. I remember uh, I one of my Christmas memories I definitely remember was Miss Ready, and we did like this <laughs> cookie party. And then shortly after coming back from Christmas, that's yes. when she flipped us all off. But you know, good times. Yeah. But that cookie I, I, party was fun, and I think I threw up when I got home because <laughs> I ate too many cookies. <laughs> Sounds about right. Oh, Miss Ready, what a time to be alive! See, I always remember like the last like day before Christmas vacation started was always like, just, I don't want to be in school. The teachers like tried to like teach still, and they were like, "Fuck it." God, I, I think all my teachers gave up. Like they tried like for five minutes, and then they were just like, "Whatever, just color, talk to with your friends, eat candy. I don't give a shit." Like, <laughs> see, when in high school, most people just didn't come in the last day of school before vacation. Yeah. Hey guys, and welcome back to this special episode of the Gaming Collecting Podcast. On this episode, me and Alex are going to be taking a trip down memory lane, talking about our memories at Christmas time, during this magical time of year, going over some of the games we got and some of our most memorable first time on console, handheld, gaming, all sorts of experiences, along with just the general memories of this time of the year growing up. Honestly, it's going to be a good time to reminisce as we get close to the end of the year. But anyways, guys, once again, thanks for joining us as we discuss the games that shaped us. So, how you been? Uh, I've been pretty good. This week has been by pretty quick. It snowed. Yeah, it did. It snowed. It snowed like two inches, so it was nothing like problematic. It was just really <laughs> nice. <laughs> what? Oh. It's, it snowed like two feet, and everyone forgot how to drive. Two feet? I mean two inches. You know what I mean. Okay, I was going to say, all right, I'm not going to lie. I could barely understand what you said just now because it was like, it literally went, ah! Like, that's okay. all I heard. But then you said two feet, and I was like, two feet? So that I could kind of pick up what you were saying. I'm being dramatic. No, it, no. it literally, like, a dusting. It didn't even stick to the fucking road. Yeah. And literally everyone was driving like there was, like, fuck, fucking four feet of snow <laughs> on the ground. I'd say, I'd say in Connecticut, it snowed, it snowed a little more than, like, a dusting. It definitely was, like, like I'd say, like, two inches um, but it wasn't anything crazy, but the roads were a little slushy. For me, at least. I don't know about you, but... No. For me, the roads... There were some spots where it was a bit snowy. Like, my, my turn into, like, my work, like, cul-de-sac, I, like... I turned in, and I was like, Wee! <laughs> I went a little, woo! And then I, I sorted it out, but I slid a little bit, and it was kind of fun. <laughs> no, I was everywhere. Everyone was driving like it was the end of the world. And then I got onto the highway... Bill, they literally... had to get the bread and milk, Bill. It's no, they snowed. didn't. It was it was like five in the morning, but um, ah. no, the, everyone was. I was getting on the highway. And everyone's driving like twenty on the highway. Yeah. And I'm just like, what the hell, people? It's not even wet. <laughs> so I got into yep. the fast lane and I just freaking flew by them all. I'm like, I am not dealing with this shit. Yep. Nice. It's like. People already can't drive as it is, and when it snows, it's like, it just gets even worse. Yeah. Well, it's interesting. It's actually, um, mathematically proven, too, that people suck at driving recently, because I was telling you about this off-camera, but in, uh, Connecticut, I guess the amount of accidents, like, car accidents, has, or, like, car-related deaths has gone up, like, 10% from last year. Just pretty bonkers when you think about it, but I've seen people do the wildest things while driving. Like, I've seen people, like, I go 80 and I get passed on the highway. <laughs> and I'm <Lovely>. like, <laughs> I'm like, I think I'm going fast enough. I think I'm good. I don't want to go above this. Yep. Yep. But yeah, it's been a week. 
It's been, been cold. Yeah, it but you know, cold. it's going to probably be warm in like a couple days because this is New England. That's just well, how weather actually, works. Well, actually, on Saturday, um, last time I checked the weather on Saturday, it said it was going to be 60. Yeah, of course. 60s. Because it's, it's New England and nothing makes sense up here. It's not fair, too, because the nicest day, I'm going to be in my apartment suffering. Well, that's that's your problem. <laughs> if I had known it was going to be a nice weekend, I would have scheduled my booster. For, <laughs> I would have scheduled my booster then. But, oh, yeah, well. well. It's your problem. Yeah. But anyways, yeah. Other than that, this week's been incredibly boring because it's, it's the last month of the year. Yeah. We're just trying to get through it. I'm off yep. the last week, so. Nice. Gonna come visit me. For New Year's, yep. Woo, we're gonna eat Chinese food. Yeah, and then have a miserable morning after. <laughs> yeah, a miserable morning after. I say, oh, I already got a plan for after. I say, instead of going, like, for a full meal, we order from this place down the street for me that I discovered that makes, like, A-plus breakfast sandwiches. I think that's the way to go. We'll see how it goes. And coffee. I can get coffee, um, too. Have you watched anything new recently? Um, oh, I finished, uh, that time I was reincarnated as a slime. I finished, uh, Is it done two. done, or is it just up to wherever it is? Um, I think it's... I don't think it's done done. I think there's more... Well, it's interesting, because that time I was reincarnated as a slime was, like, a... I believe a visual novel, so... Oh, okay. Um... I believe there's more to the story, but, um, I believe there's more stories after. But I thought, like, where it ended with, uh, season two was pretty good. I was happy with the ending. Um, and then I also started watching, um, the Rohan Kashibe. Um, I think I might have actually talked about it on the last podcast, but I've been watching that, too, and that was on Netflix. And, um, I'm going to start watching JoJo's part four. Uh, six part six soon so that should be exciting um right now as we're currently speaking i'm watching one piece because uh, i have are. a problem <laughs> i have a problem of course you are <laughs> my, no 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 my one piece is like inu your inuyasha it's just that show yeah that but i don't just... rewatch inuyasha every week <laughs> i don't i don't do it every week okay okay sure <laughs> I don't! <laughs> it's like every couple of weeks or every other week. I've been trying to watch new stuff. There's a bunch of new stuff coming out, though, soon that I think will be good. Because um, yeah. there's supposed to be a new season of, well, Attack on Titan. Yeah, that's I finishing soon. I believe that's finishing soon. Because then I'll probably I'll restart that from the beginning and watch it all. So that's going to take a while. Um because I just want to watch from the beginning because I haven't seen it in so That's long. That's why I so. haven't started watching it yet because I want to f- watch it all in one go. Yeah. Oh, well, you're here for New Year's. We should watch some of it. We'll see. Yeah. See um, how I feel at that point. Oh, they announced a One Piece movie. Okay. <laughs> they announced a new one. It's called Red. Tube? Red. No, no, not no. the tube. It's just, I didn't realize what you said. It delayed, so I was like, <laughs> I said, <laughs> ah! <laughs> no, just red. Just, it's one piece red. Uh, but a lot of people are, like, speculating that it's going to have, like, the character Shanks, because he's red hair Shanks, but I, I'll believe it when I see it. I doubt it. <laughs> it's yeah. not going to have him in <laughs> I've what I've been watching is uh, I caught up Yashihime. on Yashihime. Well, yeah, I watch that when the dub comes out, so that's every Friday. We're only in like five, four episodes right now, so. Uh, see, I like to wait and like build up a good plethora and then binge it. I want to know what's happening. <laughs> okay. No and spoilers. One, I I can watch one episode on every friday <laughs> usually after we podcast although we're not podcasting on friday today so yeah we're doing thursday yep uh but other than that i've been uh catching up on Barado. finally finished the time travel arc yep has a naruto died yet no he's gonna die you know I'm just waiting for it. He lost his fancy power, so he's gonna die. Don't <laughs> hey, don't spoil. That's not officially out to everybody yet. Oh wait, does it actually happen? Like what? in the manga? What Naruto die or? Oh, 
Wait, Nardo I'm... doesn't die as far as I know. He does. He's gonna die after losing his fancy power. He's we don't going know yet. to. He's going to. That just. I'm sorry, but that's the common like shonen trope. When the character they lose their power, they get older, and then they 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 say peace, and they're cut off, and they die. That's just. Common. I don't know. I think it. I don't know. I, I'm not I even close. I'm not even close to that yet. So. Well. I'm watching by the dub, so. He's gonna die. But uh, other than that, oh, I started watching <laughs> Ruby. Oh, you did? What'd you think? Yeah, of it? I was I was over at a friend's house and we watched the first uh, season of Ruby, which was more of a two-hour movie, but still. Mm. I enjoyed wow. it. Everything you just said came out in like. I I understood it clearly, but it was just like. Sorry, right, you just freeze, and I'm just kind of nodding along when I can't uh, understand what you're saying half the time. Yes, so. yes, yes. Maybe we should not use Discord and try a different one. Or do you think it won't matter? They're all crap. <laughs> all right, all right. And the ones that aren't crap are the ones you have to pay for, and I really don't want to pay for one of these things. Yeah, so. nah. <laughs> but, um, Even no, the I think ones it's... you have to pay for kind of suck, too, because yeah. Teams is no <laughs> better. Or they're stealing your data, so... <laughs> Eh, I've just accepted that my data has been stolen, and oh well. Yeah, but I ordered the uh, the rest of Ruby, so I'm going to finish watching that at some point. Nice. I already had most of it anyways, I just never got around to it. Huh. I have a question. What? What are you eating and sleeping? Your shirt says, eat, sleep, and then I can't see the rest. Oh. It says, eat, sleep, Richmond, repeat. We, that was from when we went to Richmond Raceway. I think it should say eat, sleep, poop. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that is a shirt. I it makes it's accurate. It's like it's like a cat, right? Right, Tilly. She's in the background. You guys can't see her, but she's supporting me back there, yeah. even though she tried to claw my face off before this. Huh. Now, kind of in relation to our topic for this episode, what are you drinking? Oh, I am drinking a. Fruit Smash Hard Seltzer Berry Blast. It's made with real raspberry juice and natural flavors. And it's 100 calories. And look, there's like a shark in an intertube. Nice. Now, yours isn't related to our topic, but I am drinking a Sam Adams Winter Lager. Ah. Because it is December, folks. And we're in that is... festive time of year. Yeah, I got... <coughs> Sorry, I just choked on my drink. Wonderful. I've got my tree up. Tree. And yep. I've got my lights. And more lights. And Christmas blankets. And I put my cat in a funny Christmas hat. And she yeah, hated and it. and she looked like she wanted to kill you. Yep. But, um, but I decorated for Christmas. Oh, and I got my ugly sweater. Yeah, mine still hasn't shipped, so I'm probably going to have to break out the vest. Oh, we'll be vest buddies. Yeah. We'll be the vest of buddies. Because we have, we, have <laughs> we have our annual ugly sweater Christmas party coming up. Well, it's not our party, but we well, just no, go but to it, it. It's the one that we've gone to for years now. So. Yeah. Woo! God, it's going on almost six years. Wow. It's a great God, time every time. Get, we're getting old. Shut but it! it. <laughs> Okay. I know I'm old. But anyways, our Don't topic judge. for this episode is we're actually going to be talking about Christmas memories. Christmas. Or any holiday, I guess that you do celebrate. Although holiday. I feel, I feel like time. I feel like most people, even if they're not like Christian, still celebrate Christmas just because Christmas is kind of just universal at this point. Yeah, I mean, I think it's just more of just a, a fun time of giving gifts and hanging out with friends and family. That's what it That's just should more be. what I... Yeah. That's what it should be. Yeah. Some people, it, it's just it, a glorified... It, it, uh, no. Some people, it's just glorified giving and getting holiday, but that's yeah. beside the point. No. Some people, they just, like, it's sad, but they just, they give only for the hope of getting but it's really just about, you know, giving back and telling people that you appreciate them. Because I got all my, yeah. like, co-workers' gifts, so... I mean, uh, 
And I got you a gift, but I have to because you're my friend. <laughs> I don't really go. I don't really go far into the coworkers thing, but yeah, no. Well, I have a small office. It's only like yeah. four of us, so you know, it's just a nice thing to do. No, I mostly family and like close friends, really. <laughs> when in doubt, you can never go wrong with a bottle of wine or a six pack of beer. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's what hey, I did last year. I've done that. I do that at the sweater party every year. I get an 18 yeah. pack. <laughs> I, yep. Are you gonna put the letters on it again? Uh, maybe not the letters. I'm, it's gonna definitely have a bow though. Definitely have a bow. I need to get a bow. <laughs> we should wrap it. We should get like a funny wrapping paper. No, I think it's funnier with just the bow. Honestly. The bow. You should cover the whole thing with bows. Just get a ton of them. Like just. I'll cover see. Them. I'll see. But yeah. Walmart. So. They have big bags. Something. So, what does this have to do with gaming, you might ask? Well, Nothing. ironically, <laughs> ironically, <laughs> Christmas and gaming are kind of, nowadays, because of how Christmas has become a marketing machine. Oh, yeah. Gaming and Christmas are kind of intertwined. Mm -hmm. But that's not really where my angle here is, because, ironically, gaming has been a huge part of our lives, and Christmas is always kind of a big part of it. Because Christmas yeah. indirectly is what put us on this journey, as I say. Yeah. Now, do you remember, like, the first real Christmas gaming-related gift that you ever got? Um. <laughs> uh, while you think about that, I'll go into mine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, the earliest I can remember is Christmas of, I want to say, 99. So at this point, the most of our gaming was we had. We didn't own anything in particular, but our parents had a PlayStation. Yep. And the the hand me down NES was around, but we hadn't really discovered it yet. Mm -hmm. But uh, we, there was a PlayStation, so that was kind of how we got exposed to gaming as a concept. Then in the nineties, around ninety nine, ninety eight ish, you couldn't go look anywhere without seeing something gaming related. Oh yeah, it was everywhere. So, of course, on we all wanted to be a part of that trend. So I remember Christmas of, I want to say, 99, I got the Game Boy Color, which was my first video game, like, system ever. Yep. And I remember it because it, it was the bluish-green one. Yep. Not not the greenish-yellow one, the bluish-green one. But also not the blue one. It's that, that you'll know the one if, if you uh, <laughs> Yep. <laughs> game Boy Color enthusiasts out there. Yep. But I always remember, because it was that one, and then I had two games to choose from. Clax and Super Mario Deluxe. Yep. I chose Clax. <laughs> and yep. Clax was my first video game ever. And while I played probably more Mario Deluxe in the long run, Clax was probably was honestly the first gaming memory I think I have going back. And it's honestly what started this wild and crazy journey. I had the travel pack and everything, too. Like, you know, the one that it was like a... Oh, you did? The, the Game Boy went in the pack. And you could, like, play it while it was in the pack. And then you could hold oh. it in, like a like a, a man purse, basically. Because <laughs> that's basically what it was. Huh. I don't think anyone ever actually played it in the pack, though. Because it was really uncomfortable. No. So what do you remember? Well, I'd have to say my first game memory was also Christmas of 1999, where I also got a Game Boy Color, and mine was a pinky red colored Game Boy Color. It was like this red, more of like a. It was a hot. It was it was hot pink. <laughs> no, it wasn't hot pink. It was like a dark pink. I'm like, oh, sir, I need to look it up now. Game Boy. It was pink. <laughs> color yeah but it wasn't like it was it, it wasn't exactly it wasn't like hot pink it was like a darker pink like you know what i'm oh maybe it was hot pink maybe i'm just crazy all right i don't know what color it was anyways but i don't remember what other games i had but i remember no, yours, the were all one <laughs> yours were all shovelware mine were all like licensed games but i remember playing one and playing it all the time and it was rugrats totally angelica <laughs> oh that game was so shit <laughs> it was horrible it, like i, I had don't... A, 
I had a Rugrats game too, and it was even worse. I think like your options were like I think it was just a game of a bunch of video games, and there was like a dress up one, there was like a makeup one, and then like, I only fa- the only thing there was I a remember, fashion show one. Like I remember was, Chucky had a mini game, and he was a mad scientist. I don't know why I remember that. I oh was it uh was it Rugrats Time Travelers? Yeah, f- fuck that game. <laughs> I couldn't get past level two. I still I can't say, get past level two. <laughs> I, I don't know say, what to do. Totally Angelica. Uh, it was pretty cute, and it was only for the Game Boy Color. No, no, there was, was a uh, there was a PlayStation version, I oh. believe. Well, on this picture, it says only for the Game Every, Boy okay. Color, so they lied. <laughs> no, no. Here, here's the thing, Alex. Every Game Boy Color game says that. Oh, true. Pretty much. Cause, well, technically, that version was only for the Game Boy Color. Oh, yeah, true, because the PlayStation 1 was completely different. Yeah. Yeah, I but, remember that far back. Um, I God, the Game Boy Color was such a time. I honestly don't remember any cause... other games I had. So, we kind of, as far as I, I remember, we skipped the game, original Game Boy. Yeah. And the Game Boy Pocket, because we went right to the color. Yeah. This is, you got to remember, child brains only go back so far, so... I, the farthest I can remember back is like 97, clearly, so. Yeah. So, so the Game Boy Color, I remember, was like, everybody had a Game Boy Color. Like, you were... Oh, yeah. Because this, this was, there was really no opposition at this point. It was pretty much the only handheld on the market. Aside yeah. from if you were maybe that one kid that had a Neo Geo Pocket Color or something. Yeah, that one guy. <laughs> No, I didn't meet a single one. I'm pretty sure I'm the only person in this area that has one. But um. Wow, good job. But yeah, Game, Game Boy Color was cool, and I always remember because this was the point where like you go. So this was still in that time where like schools hadn't outright banned them yet. Mhm. And like every recess was literally no one was on the playground. Everyone was sitting on the stairs playing Game Boy. <laughs> yep. Or in the woods, or like sitting at like somewhere just playing Game Boy. And I guarantee the only reason it was banned is because kids weren't doing anything. No, it was just kids playing their Game Boys. Like, that was it. Oh, and they, they did. You remember summer camps, too? They would always ban them, and it's like... Oh, yeah. The, it, I always remember, because it's like... That was the cruelest thing, because... The kids were playing them at the summer camps. Like, not like summer summer camp, like the Y summer camp, which was like just... Oh, yeah, like that camp we did where we just sat in the school and, like, they okay. occasionally went on field trips. That yeah, this one. was... So, yeah, people... I'm not sure if it's a universal thing. It's essentially a... It was like a camp where... We're, we're kind of off the track from Christmas, but don't worry. It, it all comes around. <laughs> but, it'll come um, around. It was kind of like a thing during the summer where, like... It was basically for if parents were busy and they didn't want to leave you at home, you'd just get dropped off for the day. It sucked. Like, it was miserable. But, um... Most the first for a while there, everyone would essentially just play Game Boy. Yeah. And then they banned Game Boys because all kids would do is play Game Boy, even though the counts, even the councils, I guarantee knew it's like none of the kids wanted to be there. No, it definitely like the vibe of the kids there was like we're forced to be here because our parents have to work and we can't yep. be home alone because we're seven. So. <laughs> yeah, but I all mean, the- like some yeah, of but the you counselors know, tried their best, but it just, like, it sucked. Well, no, here's the worst thing, though. Th- they would take them away, which I think is fucking stupid, because... I I always that... hate when teachers take, like, a pro- like kids' property away. I'm just like, you're just asking for trouble. like. Well, I don't think they can anymore now. No, I don't think they can. But, but I um, bet some teachers still do. Because I'm convinced so many Game Boys got stolen because of that. Because like, yeah. all they do is put them in a box, like, all together. Yeah. I guarantee you some of them got stolen. No, I bet some of them didn't get back to the right kids. Yeah. But yeah, that was dumb. Like, I I, I hated it. Like, I have a lot of gripes with stuff like that. Because mm. it's but like... Anyways, back to Chris. Oh. Well, I just wanted to make a final point. By taking away Game Boys and making the kids actually interact, all it did was encourage bullying. Because yeah. the kids, all the kids were bored and they just decided to pick on the, 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 well, the socially awkward kids. Well, especially, too, because, like, at that camp, too, the age differences were pretty big. Like, it was a pretty big gap. Like, well, that, it, it, was, youngest... it was also all kids from, like, the town, like, that you went to school with. Yeah, so you couldn't even escape and, like, at least get, like, a new start or anything. No, like, and stuck it, with... 
you were dealing with all the same shitheads you were spend the t school year with, so it was like great. Yeah. Yep. You can't just sit in the corner by yourself. Nope. That's Have depressing. Let's move on. <laughs> Anyways, back to Christmas. Woo! Yeah. So, so what's your next? I Christmas remember that memory? year vividly, and then the next. Well, the next year, then this was the year when we got the PlayStation. Our PlayStation. own PlayStation. Yes. Because we because for there was that brief period where we had the PS One, the little one, before. Yep. It just became mine. <laughs> And yep. I always remember it was set up in the basement, mm -hmm. and we had a whole bunch of licensed shovelware games. <laughs> yep. And Crash 3. Yes. And Final Fantasy 8. <laughs> yep. But I always remember we play us playing Rugrats in Paris. Yes! That's and what I was going to say! <laughs> I'll always remember because for some reason the Player 1 controller was the the Mad Cat's third party one and the Player 2 controller was the official one. And I always yep. thought the Mad Cat's one was better because it, yeah. was, red, it was bright red and see-through. <laughs> yeah. And I thought it was better so I would always use that one. Yeah. A and because of that, you're the, you had the official controller and you were the controller thrower. Yeah. <laughs> so every time she lost, which unfortunately happened a lot at the time. Hey, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, well, also, those controls were janky. The controls were the, janky. Fair, they were. Games. But you also got angry real easily. I had anger issues as a child. You were also, four, you were also five, so. <laughs> yeah, well, it's true. Why did you give a five-year-old the remote, Bill? Why? This it was bought weird. for us. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm looking at a picture. <laughs> of what? Oh, the PS1 Rugrats game? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why do they all have dump trucks? <laughs> like, <laughs> have you watched the show? <laughs> but, like, this is what? Like, who made this? Is I just feel like the 3D models just, like, really, like, it's like, whoa. <laughs> I, think I think Avalanche Software actually made that game. Oh, really? Wait, yeah. let me see. What is it? Uh... It's THQ. That's the publisher. They published everything. Is that Avalanche? All I know is that I'm looking at either Phil or Lil. Oh, someone did a playthrough of the whole game. Part I 5. Was, I was thinking about doing that at one point, but I didn't have the time. I, don't waste your time on this shit. But, uh, oh yeah, Kimmy, who they wrote out of the show. Oh, uh, that new show is so garbage. You watched it? I watched an episode of the Curiosity. It's so... Yeah. <laughs> but getting back to the PlayStation now. Yeah. I remember this one was... Because we had wanted a PlayStation forever because we were obsessed with it at this point. Because we were always watching, like, Dad play. Yeah. And by this point, he had the PS2. Yep. And we we were, like, fascinated with that even more. So then we got the PlayStation. And by then, at this point, we didn't really know graphics so much as... No. No. But um, I was five. Oh well, yeah, but I was. I always remember that first Christmas, like playing the PlayStation. You getting mad and hucking the PlayStation controller, which with had the wire connected, which yanked the console with it. Yep. <laughs> I'm sorry. And that controller. Hey, that PlayStation still works. The PlayStation was fine. That controller will never work again. I'm sorry. <laughs> I've made some mistakes in my life. Leave me alone. I just remember that too because like some of those games were like way too advanced for us at the time. Oh yeah, we were not we were not ready. But then we also had Rugrats, so we were fine. You know what's funny about Rugrats is we didn't even realize there was actu an actual game to it. We only just played the mini games. Yeah, we never realized there was <laughs> we just played the mini games. Same with Tigger's Honey Hunt. That was the other one we played. Oh, yeah! That one, though, like, you played. Like, I think you got through it. I gotta... That game's... Tinkered. Hot take, that game's still good. I don't care what anyone says. Yeah, it was such a fun, cute game. It's Didn't a simple it little side-scroller, it, but it's right? fun. Did it have the heffalump? I Tigger's don't know. Honey Hunt. Oh, that was actually a really cute game. Oh, yeah, there's, like, the bee creatures. Like, the bee elephants. Remember them? Uh, I yeah, think that, the heffalumps were in this game. Yeah, that game, was, it was weird, but it was fun. I always yeah, remember was that like, one. True. I feel like you should play that and, like, either drink a little something or, like, smoke a little something, and I feel like it would be an experience. 
I don't smoke, so it won't happen, but maybe yeah. when I'm drunk. Someone else can experience. I just feel like you'd have a good time. Like, it would right just here. be a trip. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I still got it. I gotta give that a shot again at some point. So <laughs> see how up. This is Bill replays his childhood games. Oh yeah, honestly, like I'm looking at the screenshots, the graphics, like they hold up, like they still look good. Like I'm no, looking I, I, at, like I'll say to this day, PlayStation still looks. It's a distinct style, and I always remember too, cause like I remember being jealous about it, cause we were. So we were in a pretty small town, and everybody in the town, I swear, had an N64. Yeah, we were like the only PlayStation. Yeah, kids. which is bizarre because the PlayStation was significantly more successful. But um, what's up? Nicktoon Racing. Sorry, that oh. popped up. That, that was oh like, yeah. We played that a lot too. I remember. I remember getting that for Christmas. Yeah. You know what's funny? I got that for Christmas one year, and then another Christmas I got the PC version. It was the same game. <laughs> oh, that was probably mom not realizing. Yeah, I didn't want to say anything. Yeah, that game. Love you, mom. That game's. Well, actually, at the time I was stu I was a stupid kid. I probably did say something. Whoops. Oh well. <laughs> Regardless. So. Oh. The PlayStation was probably the first big one, because then the following year, we got the PS2. Woo! And I always remember, by this point, it kind of became that became that tradition where you'd always be like hyped every Christmas for like the next console, because they kind of were consoles released very close to, and handhelds released very close together around this point. Yeah. And I always remember like, so we we got the PS2 to share. Yep. And then I got the PS1 screen thing so I could have the PS1 to myself. Which in hindsight I realized was a huge missed opportunity because I was the kind of I was kind of bummed because I wanted the PS2 <laughs> instead. Oh. <Aww. laughs> but um in hindsight, that was I actually had a great deal because I had a freaking PS1 I could play in bed. <laughs> Little screen. That's so funny. Which Just I imagining did. Imagining someone playing the PlayStation 1 in bed. <laughs> I did. That's why I was always tired. I was always tired of shit in like elementary school. <laughs> See, you know what I would do is like I would remember when we had those little movie things, those little things that played those like movies. Oh, the video now. The video nows. I would always have that at bed, and I would be watching. The Dude, Amanda I watched. Show. I watched <laughs> so much America's Funniest Home Videos. I watched so much Amanda Show. I had the Amanda, <laughs> and we got those for Christmas, so it's relevant. Yeah, and you um, tap, you tapped them. Like, slightly, and they skip. Yeah. <laughs> skip, and you have to rewind. Oh, I, I had the Amanda show once, and... Oh, my God. That was such a funny show. I like eggs. <laughs> it's on uh, Paramount Plus now. Oh, it is? Oh. I think all the Dan Snyder shows are. Ugh. Yeah, Dan I know. Snyder. <laughs> We're not having this tangent again. All right. <laughs> but, um... <laughs> Feet. That's all I'll say. Yeah, so I remember that. I remember the PlayStation 2... You, you know what's funny, though? You remember what the first thing we played on the PS2 was? No, I don't. A DVD. It was a DVD. It was a DVD. We just watched a movie. Yeah, I think we watched <laughs> some movie. No, no, you watched Sailor Moon. Hell yeah! Because you had that's that... how you christened the PlayStation Two. You had you had that DVD of the like the season finale of uh, the, f the 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 Pegasus oh, season. Oh yeah, of the um, it was season four. Yeah. I remember that because we were like we had no games yet, and you were like, "I what do we do? It's a DVD player," and you're like, "I know what I want to watch." <laughs> Sailor Moon. So you were watching Sailor Moon, and, and then I had the uh, the play PS One hooked up in the corner, and I was playing SpongeBob Super Sponge. Yes, yes, yes. yes which yes. I believe I got that year, and it was yes. terrible. <laughs> yeah. But as a kid, I didn't realize. As a kid, you really don't realize no. half of what you play is garbage. No, the, your quality, your, your sense of quality changes. Oh, yes. But I think it was also around that year was when the Game Boy Advance came out. Yes. Because I remember the Advance, I got it first, you got it second. Yeah, I think I got mine the year after yeah. you got yours. Because you, when I got my regular Advance, you got the Flippy. Yeah, the SP. 
Yeah. Because that came out a few years later. So, yeah, you got yours, like, right when the SP... Wow, you, so you didn't have it for a couple of years there. But then again, you weren't really using your Game Boy to begin with. Yeah, I, I don't really know what I was doing. But I was also, like, still pretty... Child. A child. Uh, but when I got my Game Boy, that was the first... Uh, my Game Boy Advance, that was the first time I played Pokemon. Yes, because... We, I had had, the, actually, it's funny. So another shift. We're kind of jumping around here at this point, but yes, I had gotten the DS first. You still had the uh, the Game Boy Advance at that point, and I had started playing Pokemon by this point. And then you had wanted to play Pokemon, so you were playing yours on the on the fat Game Boy Advance yes. with no screen light. Yeah. And I had the DS. <laughs> yep. And you were so jealous. I was really jealous. Well, especially because, like, the Pokemon, um, Pokemon is it Emerald. That no, was the had, only... You had Leaf Green. It? Leaf Green, all right. I'm Leaf Green. Up. Pokemon Leaf Green was the only good Game Boy Advance game I had. I didn't have any other good stuff. I had, like, Mary-Kate and Ashley games. Well, I Alex, had, like, you have to remember... You didn't really give a crap about gaming at the time, so Mom had no idea, so she just bought... Oh, yeah, no, no, no. This looks That's... good. Um, no. I definitely had more of, like, the girly, girl-focused ones, even though, really, it's not. Like, I think I had, like, a Disney princess one. I had a Cheetah Girls game. <laughs> Cheetah Girls. Cheetah Sisters. Every Barbie had... game imaginable. Oh, yeah, there was, like, Secret Agent Barbie. Oh. There was, like, I think there was a Bratz game I had. Probably. A Winx Club game Oh, you I had, had the Bratz PS1 game that we that we couldn't figure out how to play. Yeah, I I saw a video. I saw someone play it, a video game of it, and uh, I saw a tutorial. And they were still, to this day, didn't know what to do. <laughs> I, Those games are crap. So I can't, I couldn't find that one, but I did find the Powerpuff Girls game that you had. Oh, you did. Yeah, and it's punk as shit. <laughs> I'm not surprised. It's terrible. There's so many Barbie games. Oh yeah. God. Well, because they made one for, like, every movie there was. So, oh, and yeah. this was actually at the time where there was, like, this was the time of the Barbie movies. Because there was Barbie and the Magic of Pegasus. Barbie and the Island Princess. Of... And, and Barbie was always voiced by Sango. <laughs> Barbie and the Twelve Dan- Oh, my God. I never made that connection. Oh my god, I'm gonna rewatch all the movies. All right, that's what I'm doing no, but, for Christmas. I'm gonna watch all the Barbie movies. Oh no, but my it's god! A little voice acting trivia. Most of those were dubbed by the Ocean Group, and Barbie that's was hilarious. voiced by a uh, Barbie was voiced by Kelly Sheridan, who's like the voice of Sango. I need to know how many Barbie movies there were now. And I Bar think I think uh, Kirby Morrow, the voice of Moroku, was a guest. Was like appeared as like a, a male lead in every one of them too. Oh, okay, we're going to see. We're going to see how many of these I've watched. Oh, this is such a tiny picture. I don't want to go on someone's Facebook so, to see this. Mo moving now, away. I, no, I need to know. I need to know. All right. Well, <laughs> I need to you, know all the Barbie movies. All right, well, while you do that, we're going to take a quick <laughs> break, and we'll be right back. Woo! Merry Christmas, baby. Stop. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're back. Well, so, moving away from gaming now, do you always remember, like, Christmas time was always, like, the vibe, like, back when you were a kid? The vibe? Yeah. <laughs> like, that was the longest month of school ever. Yeah. Well, and it was. You were going to say? Well, I was just going to say, it's so funny looking at, like, christmas now versus christmas then because like now i'm like oh my god because christmas is like three weeks away what? yeah now it's like, like oh my it's god so it's gonna soon. be here before we know it it's back so, then it was it's like not even three weeks like it's like two weeks and it's like oh my god and you gotta be it's so much more stressful now especially when you live in a different state because you gotta think about like driving and stuff and mm -hmm. you just 
you kind of lose the, not that you lose the joy, but, like, when you were a kid, it was just, like, it was such a special time. Like, you uh, you were, like, building up to it. You did fun things in, like, school, like, elementary school. Like, yeah. Yeah, it was just so fun. And now it's just, like, we're adults now. <laughs> well, yeah, now it's, like, we understand why the adults were always, like, stressed out around this yeah, time Yeah, I get it now. I'm stressed. <laughs> now you start to relate to, like, the Scrooge, Scrooge people. Oh, yeah. Squidward, I get you. I feel you, Squidward. But, um... Yeah, I always remember, like, the vibe, like, around the time is, like, you'd, you'd get to, like, December, and you'd be like, this is going to be the longest two weeks ever. Yep. Because this is back, like, back then we actually got two full weeks off every year. Yeah. No, we got so much time off. It was so great. It was so yeah. nice. What a time. What a time to be alive. But, yeah, I always, I always remember, like, the build-up to, like, Christmas was like, was, like, you were, like, dying. And then, like, the second it finally got there, you were, like... It was over before you knew it. I know. Well, it was also funny, too, because it was, like, uh, you'd build up to it, like, with, like, parties in the week, and, like, I think we did, like, pajama days where everyone wore pajamas and stuff. I, and... Yeah, and then until, like, the, that just became normal high school attire. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pajama day really lost its luster when you got to middle school and everyone just did that anyways. Yeah. But it was fun as kids, you know, because that, that was the time where you're well, your parents still probably dressed you, or, like, you were just starting to dress yourself. So, you know, you still you were just getting into that freedom phase, you know. But, oh, it was so fun. I remember, uh, I one of my Christmas memories I definitely remember was Miss Ready. And we did, like, this cookie party. And then shortly after coming back from Christmas, that's yes. when she flipped us all off. But, you know, good times. Yeah. But that cookie I, I, party was fun, and I think I threw up when I got home because <laughs> I ate too many cookies. <laughs> Sounds about right. Oh, Miss Ready, what a time to be alive! See, I always remember like the last like day before Christmas vacation started was always like, just, I don't want to be in school. The teachers like yeah. tried to like teach still, and they were like, "Fuck it." Oh my God. I, I think all my teachers gave up. Like, they tried, like, for five minutes, and then they were just like, whatever, just color, talk with your friends, eat candy, I don't give a shit. Like, <laughs> See, when in high school, most people just didn't come in the last day of school before vacation. Yeah. Or if they did, well, a couple times, well, there was two times where in high school where I was in shop for Christmas. Well, actually, I'm trying to think. I think it was my freshman year and my junior year. No. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, it I was don't know. junior year. My uh, senior year, I was in a shop for... Uh, I was in shop, so... No, that would actually be your sophomore year. Because it was my senior year. Huh. But, um... I remember because I was on co-op for Christmas. <laughs> so oh. I just went to, I went to work like a normal human being. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Um, I like I was pretty certain at least one of my years I was because we did like a gingerbread contest and I just was there to like have fun and make a gingerbread house. See, I wasn't really. I remember because the year I was on co-op, which for anyone who doesn't know, uh, that's I, we went to I went to me and Alex went to vocational school. Mm. So for our, our senior and junior years, we got to actually go out and work rather than yeah. go to school, which yep. was awesome. But um, for my senior year, I had Christmas. I was on co-op at my job. And I remember because all the kids in my class, uh, my shop, they actually did like a Christmas party at school. And they were like, they were pissed that I didn't go. And they were like, why didn't you go to the Christmas party? I'm like, I went to work and got paid. And then they were like, oh. like No, they, they still didn't get it. I'm like, I'm not going to give up a day of work to go to school. I think I did the same thing. Um during my co-op because I I think I because I was in my co-op all senior year I didn't get it um I didn't really get it till like the end of junior year anyways yeah. so and mine was like the very beginning of senior year um and I remember I think I went to my company's Christmas party I think I did that or I think I just didn't go to school that day um well I did because they had a bunch of parties I remember they had the uh, end of the year like uh, seniors graduation party in the shop yep. and I didn't go because I was like I'm not gonna miss a day of work <laughs> I don't I'm not think gonna I give up 
anything, anything that was party related, I did not go to. Well, no, you're. I I don't because they were on co-op too, and they all decided not to go to work and go to school to party, and I was like, I'm not okay. giving up a day of money. Mine was more. I was like one of like two people who was on co-op. See, we were all on co-op pretty much. Yeah, well, CAD was a lot harder to get co-ops for. True. Because if you weren't actually good at it, then... <laughs> this is literally the Christmas special where we don't really talk about Christmas. I know, what are we even talking <laughs> Well, no, it's Christmas memories. Like, oh, I remember uh, gingerbread houses were definitely fun. That was a fun You still year. do the gingerbread house every year. I do. Well, I don't know if I did it last year. Uh, <laughs> you did, like, a basic one that died at a day. <laughs> Yeah, I haven't done, like, a, a really fancy one in a while, but it's hard, because I have a ravenous beast, and she'll eat whatever I do, and I don't really have a place to do it in this apartment, but I'll bring the no. tradition back eventually, because it was always fun I always remember me. that. I've always remember, too, time. like, that week, the first week, because back when, back when Christmas vacation was, like, two weeks, you had that first week before Christmas actually, you actually got to Christmas. Yeah. And I always remember that was literally just go out with friends, play in the snow when it did snow, because this is New England, sometimes it doesn't snow. Yeah. No. Sometimes but, um, it does, sometimes it doesn't. Or just go to the mall. Mall was a big thing. Yeah, look at those same ornaments that have been there since then. Heck yeah. Look at sit that same sit. Santa chair that's been there. <laughs> sit Bill, on Santa's should... lap and look uncomfortable. Bill, I, I thought of an idea. What? Should Tilly get a picture with Santa? Why would you do that to that poor man? I'm kidding. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't do that for wh many reasons. One, she would squirm and I'd probably lose her. And, uh, two... You'd probably I'd... get sued. <laughs> yeah, no, she'd probably attack him. People do that, though. They take pictures with Santa with their pets. I'd have to, like, keep her... I'd have to get her, like, a clear carrier and be like... Look at her. <laughs> that would be such a pathetic. <laughs> you know, I know we brought this up on the last podcast, but sitting on Santa's lap is already creepy enough as it is. Um, the Easter Bunny, I never got that. <laughs> yeah, Easter Bunny was really creepy. He was just like a creepy man and a sitting, creepy bunny. Uh, so sitting on Santa's lap is weird enough. Sitting on a giant rabbit's lap, like what? And again, I always sense the evil about that, and the evil and the non ill, that ill intent. Because every time we did it, I cried. I cried and I sobbed because I knew that wasn't <laughs> Santa. He was in the village, so that wasn't him. <laughs> yeah, okay. He was in but, this uh, village in New Hampshire, people. That's where Santa lives. <laughs> I didn't know that's where you were going with that. <laughs> it's, it's Santa's village in New Hampshire. That's what Santa is. Screw the North Pole. He's in New Hampshire. I always lo loved it, too, this, t this time of year, because this is when, like... Yeah. You know, I always did love this time of year, though, because this was around the time when, um... Like, all the TV channels... Because this is back when we actually watched TV. All yeah. the TV channels would, like, switch over to, like, the Christmas-themed episodes yeah. of movies. And, like, you know, the countdowns to Christmas going on. Yeah, it was, like, ABC's Countdown to Christmas. Wasn't it, like, ABC? It was uh, there had... was that one. Nickelodeon had one. Cartoon yeah. Network had one. Every cartoon channel did. Well, I remember ABC's because they always would play, like, those classic, like... The classic animated ones, like, uh... What are they called? Like, The Little Drummer Boy... There was like the Santa's classic, coming to town. Santa's coming to town. All those like classic Christmas Rudolph, movies. <laughs> Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. You know, at work they've been playing nothing but Christmas music like pretty much since December started. I've heard Rudolph. I've heard like seven versions of Rudolph, twenty versions of uh, All I Want for Christmas. Yeah. It's like I'm going to go insane by the end of this. I'm trying to <laughs> find the ones. <laughs> more i have the haircuts oh the year without a santa claus that is like one of my yeah. favorites i'm trying to find those i classic. related with i you know i related with heat miser <laughs> i mean yeah he's like we all are a little heat miser on the inside you know you know you know that one was pretty good i, I love the, uh, the 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 snow creature from santa's coming to town too that was actually a nice guy he just wasn't it like the abominable snowman or something? Something or? like that, yeah. Those um, movies are so weird <laughs> going back to them. 
Well, and then, remember, what is this one? I remember this one with, like, the creepy Santa. Oh, it was Frosty! Frosty had creepy Santa. Do you remember that animated Rudolph movie with the Paul McCartney song? Yes. Yeah, I was going to bring that up. It's the simply having that one. Uh, Rudolph, I need to find that. Oh, no, it's funny, because every year once the Christmas songs start coming up, I'm always sitting there waiting. When's when's the Paul McCartney song going to start? Rudolph, Paul... McCartney. I think the movie's Rudolph just... Rudolph Paul McCartney. It came right up. It's I Rudolph, think... the red-nosed reindeer. The movie. Yeah. It had Whoopi Goldberg? Yeah, it did. It, yeah, I think she was the ice queen. Yeah, it had John Goodman, Bob Newhart, Debbie Reynolds, and Whoopi Goldberg. No, I remember it being a good movie. I just remember it bombed. Also, that was like some of the most asshole-ish uh, reindeers in that in that movie. Yeah, they all kind of suck. I mean, like and, the whole story around. Uh, I well, yeah. <laughs> like what the heck? Everyone just yeah, bullies but, him because he has an awesome red nose. Like fuck dude, you guys. In that movie, great. in that movie, he had freaking bitchin' hair too. Yeah, he does have bitchin' hair. I'm looking at it right now. He looks pretty great. He has bells, and he has like nice hair, and he has a. He has a friend that's a polar bear that wears a pretty sick hat. See, I was remember because they released that one. Like, that was, like, an independent one that was, like, aside from, like, the traditional Rudolph movies. Yeah. And I always remember because it was supposed to be, like, a reboot kind of, like, new series, but it, it bombed, I guess, like, critically. Oh, my God. Do you remember that movie? Um, it was, like, a cow that wanted to be a reindeer. Do you know what I'm talking about? It's Annabelle's oh, you mean the Wish. Du- no, it's oh, a cow. No. I thought you were talking about the dog. <laughs> no, it's like a cat. Well, there's a dog one, too, but this one's like a cow. Uh, I remember I, this. I don't know why. I remember the dog one just because it had horrifying... It's called Annabelle's fu- Wish. I don't remember that. I, I remember the. Become... I remember the dog one, though, just because the dog one had horrifying animation. I want to look up weird Christmas movies. Now I'm just really curious. Oh, I hate that snowman. What? You know that one that's like, it's like that snow. it's like the creepy snowman. He's just like, has a creepy, I don't know who he is, but I hate him. Oh, Jack Frost. Ugh, he's so creepy. Oh, Jack Frost. Ugh, he's oh, so Jack Frost. He's so creepy looking. That movie is so bad. It's so creepy. We've kind of, we've kind of lost the gaming focus on this now, but. <laughs> we have, it's just a Christmas talk at this point. Well, I guess to segue a little, you remember the year we got the Wii. Wii. The yes. Wii was probably, like, one of the greatest Christmases ever. Yeah, we played the, the Mario Party. We played so much Mario Party. It we was played eight, so right? much Mario Party 8, Wii Sports. Uh, we had another game that we played a lot of, too. I'm trying to... Wii. I played a lot of Super Paper Mario. Oh, oh, the yes. freaking the me channel, and we made the most horrifying yes! things. <laughs> we made the most horrifying creatures of all times. So what other games? Did we One have? of these days, I have to boot up the Wii and show the world some of those fucking creations because oh, they yes. are something. No, I kind of don't want you to. I don't want the world to see that. <laughs> I want the world to see our like what we made, what we made. The, 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 yeah. There, there were some interesting things we made in there. I'm, like, trying to think what other game... Because we had a whole bunch of, like, party games. Right? Oh, Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. Hell yeah! Hell oh, that game was... Yeah. We, we yeah ironically, had... we, never had, we never had the console version of the Winter Olympic Games, though. No, no, no. no. You had it on DS. I had it on <laughs> the... No, not the DS. It was the, um... 3DS. It was a 3DS game. Are you sure? Game. I swear yeah, it was no, DS. Yeah, no, it was a 3DS game. I have it. I'm, I like, need to double. I need to I'm, double check, because I swear that was a DS game. I'm, like, certain it was a 3DS game. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic, Olympic Winter Games. Win- winter Games... Okay, maybe it wasn't. I thought it was, or maybe they had a 3DS. No, no, should... I think no. I think it's because you you had your 3DS by that point. Oh, maybe that's it. That could be it. I was gonna say because I'm like I don't remember the graphics being that good. Well, no, it's a shitty game. I remember it had a story mode too, and I was it like, it did. It was so it. weird. And I was just like, this sucks. 
and I didn't. I stopped playing it. Also because no. like playing a game that like like that that was made originally for the Wii on the DS just it sucks. It's not fun. <laughs> they <Yeah>. suck. <laughs> but the new we got a Wii was like I'm like trying to find original Wii games because that was such oh we a had fun that year. awful Pokemon game too. Oh, it was like the tournament fighter one. Uh, Battle Revolution. Yeah. It had no story. It was just a, it, just battles. It was just fighting, but it was fun. Trying to that one, it, you know, we had a good time. Oh, weren't you able to like? Um... Yeah, you could transfer all your Pokemon from Diamond yeah. and Pearl. Where? Oh yeah, the... unrelated. How far are you in Pearl? Uh oh, where did I get to? Oh, I think I'm in the middle of um. I'm at the point where you're having your conflict with Team Galactic. Yeah. So they basically, like, uh, they were had the, all the lakes, and they basically, like, took all the Pokemon from the lakes. And yep. I think I finished that, and now I have to go to their main base and, like, beat them. Okay. I'm almost done with it, though. I'm yeah, I done. know. <laughs> well, completing the main story, I just honestly, like, I don't know. It's so hard playing it because you're just, like, because it's literally the same game. <laughs> well, it wasn't the best game to begin with, and it's literally the same exact game, and... <laughs> and it doesn't look that much better. <laughs> on it, yeah. I mean, I've definitely seen better... I mean, like... Let's save this for uh, a, a later review. Sword and Shield is so much better. Like, just play Sword and Shield. Or even Go. Hmm. Let's go play that. Yeah, let's... Let's... Let's uh, save this for a later podcast yeah. topic. no. But, um, yes, yes, you're the one who brought it up. I, I was just curious because you brought up something. Oh, yeah, but uh, Battle Revolution. But, yeah. um, yeah, the Wii was a time. Like, the, do you remember, remember, like, no, this is before we learned how to hook up consoles by ourselves. Yes. And we, we had to hook up the Wii by ourselves because no one had time to hook it up for us. Yeah, that Cause, was fun. Because, uh, M Mom and Dad were getting ready for Christmas uh, dinner at the time. Yep. So we, we hooked it up by movies. ourselves. And that and it was a train wreck. Oh, yeah. We did it, though. We did. And did we played it. a lot of Wii Sports. Yeah, we played a lot of Wii Sports, and we played a lot of Mario Party 8. Especially yeah. the Soda Can game. Heck yeah. yeah. That one came up all the time. I think every time we Next played time it, we got the Soda Can. for game. New Year's, I'm bringing that over. Yeah, I have a Wii. So. I know that's what I'm saying. I'm bringing. I'm bringing that. We're gonna have to play that. You just might need to bring a controller. But yes, I, I have mine. Yeah. Okay. But yes. All right. So I, but back that. to uh. So back to Christmas traditions. Mm -hmm. Other Christmas movies. So that we talked about the classic like kid movies. Do you also remember the um, all the TV specials? Oh yeah. Like every. TV show from that point had like a Christmas special and you'd always have to wait till Christmas because they'd only ever play it at Christmas time. Yeah. And it wasn't like now where you have the internet and you could like literally well, find we have, anything. We have convenient streaming services that have all these wonderful episodes for us. Yeah. So you can just pull them up and relive them whenever you want even though it's not Christmas time. And it was like every sitcom imaginable had like a, a yearly Christmas special or... Oh yeah. Yeah. Except for Friends. Friends had yearly Thanksgiving specials. Huh. They never did a Christmas episode? <laughs> they they had Christmas episodes, but it wasn't like a tradition. Like, <laughs> Friends' thing was, like, they had a Thanksgiving episode every year. Uh, like, that was the running, like, joke. That was there. That, well, that was, it differentiated them. Yeah, but, um... <laughs> do you remember the Spongebob Christmas episode? Yeah, it was like, um... He, like, was singing, and, like, it was, like, Squidward was a grouch. Yeah. And then they had, like, a live-action Santa yeah. come in, right? That I thought... They so. had a... Early SpongeBob had a lot of those live-action segments for no reason. Yeah. Like, but do you remember the... I Pat miss it. Do you remember the Ho the Patrick Hook episode where, like, the, the, the live-action fisherman up top? Yep. Good times. I remember all those Christmas specials. Uh, and then, of course, like, yearly tradition movies like Christmas Vacation. Yep, that one is a big one for us. Um, the most quotable Christmas movie of all time. Yes. Yes. So many, so many quotes. I always so remember that one. Um, what's another classic Christmas movie? 
Uh, I know one we watch. I don't know if it's a classic, but we always would watch Christmas in the Cranks. Ugh. Christmas with the Cranks. <laughs> we that, always watch that for that some reason. That hasn't aged. That hasn't aged well at all. <laughs> We always watch that. I don't know why. I think it's cause it was like one of our few that we had on DVD, so we watched that. Is that um, Tim Allen? Yeah, it was Tim Allen and. Uh, yeah, that was a later, later Tim Allen film. Yeah, it was later. Um, I remember that one. Oh, and there was uh, the Santa Claus movie. Oh yeah, the Santa Claus. Oh god, talk about a classic. Yeah. Did you see Tim Allen posted a tweet with a beard? He was like saying, "Up, oh, getting ready for that time of year again." Oh god. <laughs> I got well. He's Santa. I, he's got to get to New Hampshire. I got to um for the village. <laughs> I got to rewatch. I got to find out what streaming service those are. I I got to find out what streaming service those are on because I want to rewatch those. Huh. At least the, at least the first two. Yeah, not probably the not third the, one. Which probably Jack. not. The, <laughs> probably not the third one. The third one yeah. was really weird. The Santa Claus movies. Where to watch. I'll help you out. I'll help you out. Where to watch. Where. Watch. Oh, I think it's on Disney Plus. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, that yeah. would make sense. All right, I'll have to look into that. But it's also, I believe, on Amazon Prime. But you'll probably have to pay for it. But yeah. it looks like it's on Disney Plus. All right, I'll keep that in mind. Yeah, because those were like a yearly classic. Those were um, always fun. Uh, well, and then we already talked about like the classic animated ones. Are you, okay, here's one that I... Uh, this might be a controversial opinion, but Christmas movie I can't stand. Elf. No, no I get that. I get it. I think and it's Elf not because is a little... well, it's partially because I'm just not a huge. Um, what's his name? Uh, I know who you're talking about. Uh, what's his guy? Oh God, brain fart. Uh, How Will. Am I forget? Will Ferrell. Will, Will Ferrell. Fer yeah. Yeah. I'm not a huge Will Ferrell fan as it is, and. Hmm. Around the time when that movie came out, like it was everywhere. Yeah. But there was a point in um, in high school towards the well, not high school. Uh, actually, it might have been high school, but it was like towards the end of uh, like before we went on vacation, where it's like the teachers didn't want to teach, so they were just like move Christmas movies so all they the time. Just put yeah. And every single one played Elf. I think but it was, that yeah. And it was always straight up from the beginning each time, and I was like, I've seen this fucking thing. How many times? Thousand now? times. I don't want to see it. No, and, it definitely got old. Like no, I liked it's, it the first couple times, yeah. but you it's know. one of those movies that it was funny the first time, not so funny the thirtieth time. Yeah. It and I just have like overplayed. I have such a hatred for that movie now. It's not even funny. Oh. I had that on. Oh, speaking of, back to gaming. Speaking of mm -hmm. Christmas, the PSP. That was another year. Ah, yes, yes, yes. And I always remember the PSP because that was when... So the PSP was funny because it was like... they were There was like a point where like people actually thought the PSP was going to like win the war. Yeah. As they say. <laughs> Whoops. Spo spoiler warning. It didn't win, but it also didn't fail. Yeah. But I always remember because I had a... I actually have a pretty substantial collection. I should dig them out at some point and do a blog post about them. Yeah. But uh, I had a pretty substantial collection of the uh, the UMD videos. Mm hmm One of which was Elf. Ah. So I remember watching a lot of Elf on the PSP. Which so might maybe also, that adds to your hatred. Which might also Elf. contribute because it was like, why did I watch this? Um, I, I had another, so many other options. Another Christmas movie we forgot to talk about was Jingle All the Way. Because I remember specifically oh, a Christmas Mary. Turbo I think Mon. it was when <laughs> you were Mon. in. When you were in, uh, what's it called? Uh, Boy Scouts? Cub, Cub Scouts. I never Cub made Scouts. it to Boy Scouts. And they <laughs> had like that movie night like in the library of our town. Yeah, and, and we just... watched Jingle All the Fucking Way. Yeah. And I, I when I think of that movie now, I always think... Arnold, uh, obviously Arnold Schwarzenegger, Sinbad, yep. and yep. Little Annie, <laughs> Little Anakin Skywalker. Yep. But I and always he remember because. got replaced. Well, but this besides that. By Larry that, the Cable Guy. Hey. Does anyone, <laughs> that movie doesn't exist, <laughs> but um. It does exist. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. We're gonna watch it. <laughs> no, but when I think Jingle All the Way, I always think like. Obviously, Turbo Man. Uh, <laughs> then there's the scene in the 
one of the where I forget what was going on in that scene, but I always remember Arnold Schwarzenegger's overly dramatic. Put the cookie down. <laughs> <laughs> like what? So many questions. Did they make a C- Christmas Vacation too? Yeah, it's unrelated. That's weird. Also, it, it has... do you know how there's like fifty Home Alone movies? Like, there's like fifty Home Alone movies. Yeah, but the only ones that matter are the first two. Yeah, the only ones that matter are the first two, and the rest are just all these like s- s- knockoff ones. It's well, basically... the third one, the third one, they had a different kid. Yeah. And then the fourth one, they decided to do the kid from the first two, but with a different actor because Macaulay Culkin was an adult by that point. Yeah. And now they've had, like, multiple more. <laughs> yeah, they're, like, on Netflix. You can find them, like... No, they're actually... I think they're on Disney Plus now, because I think Disney oh. owns the rights. Oh, really? That's so yeah. funny. Only oh. the first two are worth watching, though. Remember the Mickeys, like, Once Upon a Christmas? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I remember I'm not that. even a huge Disney fan, and I still kind of like those. No, that one was always cute, because it was just a nice, like, retelling in, like... No, but I mean, you know we're not remember? Disney people, but, like, we always enjoyed that. That was always cute. Well, I won't say we're not Disney people. I said we're not Disney fanatics. Yeah, we're not Disney, like... There's two levels of Disney. There's being a casual we're Disney fan. And then the, <laughs> we, don't, we don't talk about that. And then there's we're not a, that. <laughs> Disney fanatics, where it's like, holy shit. But, um, Please calm down. I remember Di- Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas because that one was like yeah. traditionally animated. Yep. And then the sequel was CG animation. Yeah, it was like the Twice Upon a Christmas. Yeah. yeah. They're all on Disney Plus. Honestly, for New Year's, we should just watch a whole bunch of these things. Honestly, yeah, let's do it. We can. Rather than watching Sailor Moon. But <laughs> I, I want to watch that too. The heck? I mean, we. I still have them on Amazon Prime. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Well, uh, we could watch the One Piece movies. What was another? Because you've made me watch Naruto movies, so you need to watch a One Piece movie with me, okay? Yeah, but you like those. Uh, have you watched One Piece? I've watched four kids One Piece. That doesn't count. We're watching. All right, you need to promise me we'll watch one One Piece movie. Promise me. Promise me, because I've watched a lot of Naruto movies. So you and I didn't you watched even... two. Two is plenty. We're watching a One Piece movie. We're gonna do it. We're gonna watch One Piece, and you're gonna like it. You're gonna like it. That sounds like a threat. That's not very Christmas-like. I don't fucking care. You're gonna get a cold. You're gonna be the cold that's gonna be in the thumbnail for this. Bah humbug. <laughs> oh, you know, I just realized we haven't even talked about the 30 different versions of freaking A Christmas Carol. Oh, yeah. There's like Everything did a Christmas Carol parody. Yeah. There was the Disney one. How many? There was like five Disney ones. Yeah. Well, there's the Mickey one. There was well, the there Muppets was the Mickey... one. I remember the Muppets one. The Muppets one was good. There's a Jim Carrey one, which gets his own <clears throat> category. Uh, there was um, <clears throat> there was Scrooge with uh, Patrick Stewart. Yep. And then the, remember the Flintstones Christmas Carol? Oh yeah, the I remember that. There was like every like show did like a parody of Christmas Carol at least once. Yeah. Hell, the Angry Video Game Nerd did a Christmas Carol parody for one of his episodes. That's funny. But it's it's one of the most classic of classic movie like stories. Yeah. I'm like trying yeah. to see all the parodies. Um, There's a lot of versions of it. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, do you remember going in school oh, to see the nut, no. Nutcracker live? Nutcracker? Like the ballet? Like the actual, like, the play, the Nutcracker. Like the yeah, ballet? Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, I think so. I know I've seen it with Mom outside. Oh, see, um, we went when I... Oh, you actually, you might not have... I think I might I might not have been old enough. Like, I might have not been in the class. Well, no, I like was... That. You might not even have been in school, because this was, like... Ri- this was... I was still in primary school when we did this. Yeah. I'm surprised. But I remember they actually uh, took us to see the Nutcracker, like, ballet. And this hmm. was, I remember, like, one of the most disastrous field trips ever, by the way. Yeah, I don't know what they were thinking about bringing, like, kids to the Nutcracker. Oh, yeah. Because, oh. I mean, it's a beautiful experience, but I'm sorry, but bringing a bunch of, like, 
little boys to the ballet, like they're not gonna enjoy oh. that. Oh no, my bitchy, um, my bitchy kindergarten teacher. I'm not afraid to say that. But what um, was it? It was like the. I, was I it don't know. Multi age. Was it? The yeah, multi- don't bring up her name, but um. Uh, fuck you, whoever you are. Yeah, I, she got pissed because I fell asleep. Well, I fell asleep. I hope she goes to hell. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that lady. I, she was a oh, terrible teacher. I'll say that. She's but, a ter- um, I mean, she's just not even a terrible teacher. She's just a terrible person. No, she was a terrible teacher, though. Well, a her terrible teaching, teacher, but just horrible person. Her teaching method was, I can't handle this student. I'm going to put him in the corner and ignore him for the entire class and then get pissed when he doesn't know what's going on. Yeah. Fuck that lady. Anyways, it's Christmas time. We're going to be happy. <laughs> I can't believe they took you to the ballet. I... Oh, yeah. I, I vaguely remember the beginning of it, but I also remember falling asleep. I think they getting... took us to, like, an orchestra one year. It was, like, a Christmas orchestra. Mm. Um, oh, oh, my feel, God. I, I... Oh, yes. sorry. You go for Well. I was just going to say, field trips for anything below, like, elementary school, and even elementary school is kind of pushing it. Field trips are just a disaster. It was a mistake. Well, the thing I was talking going to say, have you seen this viral, it's like this viral orchestra clip? And it's like of a like middle school orchestra, and they're playing Jingle Bells. And it's the worst thing I've ever heard. It's literally. Like... Are you sure it just wasn't a video from like when I was in the middle school band? No, no, trust me. Wait, Hor- horrible Jingle Bells orchestra. It's it's the worst thing ever. It's pretty. Pro- I found it. I'll look at it later. But it's... um so funny oh that was another thing in, in middle school like christmas time i we were both in the school bands well you were in the band i was just there <laughs> pretending to play the flute <laughs> yeah but um uh christmas was always hilarious because that was when we did all the christmas songs yeah and i i, I remember sleigh ride because i was the whip <laughs> Ooh. But they wouldn't. They were. They weren't confident in giving us an actual whip. So I was actually. It was like these two blocks of wood that you had to like slap together really loud. <laughs> That's funny. That was my. That wasn't as embar- as embarrassing as being the sleigh bells though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the three of us hilarious instruments in in a in a because I was in the percussion section. So the three most hilarious instruments for sleigh ride were the whip, the sleigh bell, and the triangle. Yep. But we we were a great trio. Yeah. Even though I scared the shit out of everybody with the whip. <laughs> <laughs> Cuz it was like a legit you had to like which <laughs> like yeah. which it was so freaking stupid. I like I look back when I see like these horrible like orchestra videos and I'm like, "Oh my god, was that us? <laughs> were we that horrible oh, probably. too?" Probably. I I bet we were. Like I I bet we were that horrible. Oh, but nothing but beats elementary school um mr bearcat god rest his soul um his uh his his singing like middle school like singing orchestras yep (laughs) you don't seem to want to remember those sorry you kind of fuzzed out and i didn't really understand what you said i was saying uh nothing nothing beats um in like elementary school mr bearcat god rest his soul uh, his oh, singing yeah, orchestras. Bless that man. I hope he's very happy wherever he is. Greatest, me. greatest music teacher ever. Gra- but, um, honestly, just one of the greatest teachers ever. Like, just send your love to him because he was amazing. He used to. So he was. He was um the school music teacher in middle school. But um, yeah. He would always do these like singing like for like the the really little kids. So like for like ele- primary school. Yeah, remember we would like it would be like the gym and like it would be everyone would be up and all the parents and we'd would be come singing. And... I it remember, was, I know it was... it was Christmas time, but like I just remember distinctively singing Turkey Trot Trot. Tr- no, no, that, that was the song. there was two a year. Yeah, there was the uh, Thanksgiving one, yeah, and then there was the winter one. Yeah. Oh, and I always remember because they were so awful, like. Cause, yeah. Because <laughs> children can't sing for shit. Yeah. Well, but, also, um, people did not want to be there. Like, the no, kids did not want to be there. But he tried his best. And he no, he, he, he was trying his hardest. And he, he was literally trying to make it fun. That yeah. man had a, had too much heart for that school. 
Oh my god. I remember, like, oh, this is just about memory of him, but I remember, like, um, it was the year I had Miss Reddy, and he came into our classroom, and, like, it, it was just, like, we were just doing a sing-along, and it was, like, we were singing Octopus's Garden, <laughs> and it was just, like, such a good time. Like, he was just such a great man. Like, it's such a shame. So, so sad. nowadays, they'd never get away with this, but I remember... This was after I was in, like, high school. Mm-hmm. And I, I was just like, wa- it was a, one of those random days off where Old Colony didn't have uh, school, but Carver did. And I remember um, I was I didn't have a car at this point, so I was just kind of walking around the town. <laughs> and I was cutting through the uh, the elementary school like parking lot to cut through the woods to take like a shortcut. Yep. And as I was going through, I looked over, because uh, school had just gotten out by that point. Yep. And Mr. Bearcat had the band class going on in the, uh, in the cafeteria at the time. Oh yeah! And he that... he he saw me and he flagged me down and like was like, "Hey, come here." Come here. And uh, he he had me coming because the drums the drummers were actually playing at the time and I was I was one of the drummers at the time. Yeah. And uh, he he had me. I actually like sat in with all the little like uh, uh primary school ki- uh, no elementary school elementary kids at the school. time and I was I was just playing the snare with him. It was great. Aww. Mr. Bearcat was... I wasn't even playing drums at the time. I was like, I had moved on to like the bass guitar by that point. But I was like, yeah. sure, I'll, I'll have I'll have a... Aww. He's like, he, he just wanted to like... Get, I make think it was fun. more he just wanted to chat. Yeah. Wanted yeah, to chat. it was so, so funny. You. He saw me outside and like waved me down. And I was like, yeah. oh, okay. Nowadays, Aww. he could never get away with that. Oh, yeah. Well, it's sad. I mean, I don't want to turn this to negative, but nowadays, like, we can't do things like that because of how scary the world is, unfortunately. Um, I always but, remember that. Yeah, that, that, man, that man had, like, way too much of a heart for, like, the school he was in. I know. Oh, well, he, he was a really good person. Such a shame. Mm. But. But, yeah. God. And then we got the middle school, and then we had the Christmas orchestras. Yes. It was like the orchestra and the chorus. It would be on the same day, and they yeah. would switch, right? So, at the time, I think I did I did band for one year, and honestly, No, you did It was nev- two years. It was two years. I, I thought remember. it was one year. No, it was one year. No, how you many switched, years of middle school you switched, was there? You switched to chorus after I had went to high school. Oh, Okay. Yeah. Because I don't think we even went to your chorus performances. No, Mom and Dad did. Oh, yeah, I didn't. Well, because there was one year that um, I was playing piano, like, at the time, which was also why I quit the flute, because I was playing piano. Um, And one year, it wasn't a Christmas concert, it was just an end-of-the-year concert, and I think it was, like, me and a couple friends, I played a song, and then they sang to it. I played on the piano, and they sang. So that was, I know Mom went that year, because, like, that was a special year. Yeah. God, that, that was such a weird time. Just, like, the vibe of everything was so, like, Yeah. Well, way just different. looking back, Christmas in general was so different as a kid compared to now. Like, Well, now it's so commercialized. And, like, well, that, and, like, now I feel like it, it just, like... It gets here so quick, and then it's, like, gone. <laughs> well, also, like, I, I was joking in the last episode, but I swear they start selling the shit in, Oct- in like, freaking August. No, yeah, some places do. Yeah, I mean, you can buy it all year round nowadays. Like, <laughs> honestly, it makes more financial sense to buy it after Christmas. Buy your decorations for next year after Christmas. Because you get uh, it all on sale. It just makes more sense, but... I mean, honestly, I'm surprised, like, um... I'm surprised the Hallmark Channel doesn't just have a dedigna- designated Christmas chan- verse channel I at this know. point. I know. Well, they have so many movies. Like, it's so funny. I know, but it's like it seems like they're because they do the Christmas in July thing, and it's like I always, I, I just, it seems like they're always just playing do Christmas. Christmas movies. Just do Hallmark Christmas movies. I know at this point. The channel you have a thousand, honestly, because yeah. our mom loves Hallmark, so that's always kind of fun though too. Cause some of them are so bad, but they're so good, you know. Yeah. I always remember, too, like, back in the day, like, you'd, like, desire so hard for, like, Christmas. I remember, like, you waking up, like, way back in the day. You'd always yes. be the first one to wake up, and you'd, like, wake everyone up. Yeah. 
And but nobody then, wanted like, to be awake yet. Well, it was funny because you and me, like, we'd have to wait at the top of the stairs because Santa had to finish putting all the gifts out. Santa. Uh, Mom. <laughs> to finish putting all the gifts out. So we would have to wait at the top of the stairs. Um, yeah. But, yeah. And now it's like we both just sleep. <laughs> We're both just like, I'm so tired. Well, now it's, well, the back then it was crazy because back then it was like, it was the, the night before Christmas. Oh, another classic movie, by the way. <laughs> yes. But, um, yeah, the, or book. Was that a movie or a book? Uh, or both? Oh, sorry. The yawns are getting to me. I th- probably both. Or is it a song? Or I don't know. Either no, way. no, it's a, it's a book. Cause it's yeah, that's right. That's Christmas right. Because I had to. All through the house. Now that creature was staring. Not even. Oh yeah, the, the freaking the... house in our in our uh, living room that you hate. <laughs> Yes, well, it's because it always plays. It's just like I like could probably recite the night before Christmas. Probably like it's the night. I, before I had Christmas to read it for, the house. for our the school. The creature was stirring, not even the mouth. The uh, holly wasn't it like the something was hung by the Christmas with cheer and hopes that Saint Nicholas would soon be there. But I think you I missed a verse. <laughs> I did. I definitely missed something, but I know but, like yeah. the beginning. But yeah, there's that. There's yeah. a God. There's oh yeah, the Polar Express. <laughs> Is that movie considered good or is that movie considered? I feel considered... like it's cursed, actually. I think it's a cursed movie. I don't I've remember. I've seen so many clips. Uh, the Polar Express cursed. I've seen cursed images. Like, oh yeah, there's like that kid who's like on the train and he's wearing the yellow sweater and he's just like, ugh. Oh yeah, the ugh. one that's a little shit. It all looks so ugly. Ugh! They're so ugly. <laughs> mm. I hate. Oh, so gross. So ugly. Well, we basically just kind of rambled on about Christmas at this point. We did, but it was a fun time. It was fun. I tried to make it gaming focused, but the thing is, I, I think about it. The farther we get in, like the PS4 launch, I remember that being a Christmas thing, and I was kind of being like, "I have a PS4 now." Yeah. <laughs> And then, like, the Switches, um, but I was in college by then, yeah. so... Yeah, they got less special, because it was more just about being with family. Yeah, especially like, I when remember... I was in college, because, like, I wasn't oh, yeah. home, so like, that was, I like, remember one of the dec- few times I was home. Decorating the tree was always a blast. Yeah, it still is fun. I don't know, we haven't really decorated in, like, four years. <laughs> well, I haven't really been home. I, like, I don't really, because even then, like, because of how Christmas lines up this year, I'm literally coming home, like... I think Christmas Eve. Maybe. Yeah. But I don't even think, like, even, like, just no one's decorated the tree <laughs> in the last couple of years. Yeah. But, um, is that, and then Christmas music, though. Yep. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. I've been hearing it. Every time I go in a store, I hear Christmas music, but it's fun. It's fun. It's nice, you know? I mean, I have my go-to Christmas album. Yeah, isn't it like, a uh... Merry Flippin', no, Mer- Merry Flippin' Christmas by uh, Bowling for Soup. Yep, that's what I thought. Aww. My fa- my favorite Christmas song ever is Corner Store on Christmas. My baby, she's all curled up in a window ball on the couch with a little Christmas bow. How cute. Yep. Sorry. Uh, but honestly, I think we can only ramble on so much about yeah. Christmas. We honestly probably should have planned this one out better, but... Honestly, no, but I kind of like when we just, like, kind of go at it. Like, I, I don't love... I, I always think it's funner when it's more of a genuine conversation. Because we just had a genuine conversation, yeah. you know. Which is nice. That's the Christmas spirit in my book. Yeah. Well, <laughs> thankfully, though, all of you are listening to this on Christmas, because this episode will be actually be releasing on Christmas Day. Woo! Merry Christmas! Yes. Spend time with your family, sit by a fire, eat Relax. some food. Oh, I'm bringing home a cake from the diner for Christmas, so get ready okay. for that. Yeah, that That'll should be, be a fun. fun treat. Yeah. Yeah, and we only got, after this episode, we only got one more episode for the year. Ah! Crazy. Yeah. Well, anyways, I feel like this is a good time to cut it off for now. <laughs> yep. And uh, so I guess we should just wish everybody a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays and whatever 
uh, Merry holiday you happy celebrate. Happy holiday, happy Hanukkah, happy Kwanzaa, Kwanzaa, happy day. Just have a good yes. day with your family, honestly. That's yep. all that really matters. And as I say, the Gaming and Collecting Podcast is made on Anchor Podcasts. Woo. And you can find us on all your major podcasting platforms, such as Google Pod... Uh, no, <laughs> Google Pod... I guess it is technically Google Pod. <laughs> Google Pod. <laughs> Apple Podcasts and Spotify Podcasts in particular. We're also on YouTube, usually at some point after the fact, whenever I get around to it. Yeah. And check us out on Good Pods, and you can follow us on both Twitter and Instagram. And once again, guys, thanks for joining us as we discuss the games that shaped us, unless we're rambling on about bullshit. The Christmas that shaped us. Today. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, Woo! Merry Christmas, and we will see you all next next time. See you all next time. Bye. Merry Christmas. Bye. Bye. Uh, stop.